Have you ever wondered how far the capabilities of our existing computers can stretch? As we delve into the world of technology, we're often confronted with the impressive power of our modern machines. Yet, these computers, as advanced as they may seem, operate within the confines of binary data, a world of ones and zeros. Each video you watch, every picture you like, all the music you stream, everything is processed in this binary format. And it's remarkable how far we've come, manipulating this duo of digits to create the digital world we inhabit today. But what if we're pushing these capabilities to their limits? As we continue to advance, we're constantly demanding more from our machines, asking them to perform tasks more complex and to process data at an ever-increasing speed. Imagine if we could go beyond the binary, into a realm where ones and zeros can exist simultaneously. Welcome to the world of quantum computing. Quantum computing, quite simply, is like being at a crossroads and being able to go in all directions at the same time. Let's break this down with a familiar analogy. Think of classical computers as a light switch. It's either on or off, right? That's similar to how classical computing works. It uses bits that can only be in one state at a time, a one or a zero. Now, imagine a dimmer switch instead of a simple light switch. This dimmer switch can not only be on or off, but can also be any value in between. This is akin to quantum bits or qubits, the basic units of quantum information. Unlike classical bits that are strictly binary, qubits can exist in multiple states at once. This is due to a property called superposition, which allows them to be both a one and a zero simultaneously. This might sound like a small difference, but it's actually a massive leap in computational power. Because while a classical computer must choose one path and stick to it, a quantum computer can explore all paths simultaneously. It's like being at a crossroads and not having to choose between going left, right, or straight ahead. You can go in all directions at once. So, in a quantum world, our computers don't just follow one path, they explore all paths at once. This concept might seem abstract and far-fetched, but the implications are monumental. Let's recall what we've learned about quantum computing. This fascinating field leverages the principles of quantum mechanics to process information in a new, groundbreaking way. By using quantum bits or qubits, instead of the classic binary digits, quantum computers can handle complex calculations at an unprecedented speed. Imagine the potential. We could revolutionize industries from drug discovery to weather forecasting. Complex problems that would take traditional computers centuries to solve could be tackled in mere seconds. We could predict the weather with greater accuracy, design more effective drugs, even solve some of the most intricate problems in physics. However, it's not all smooth sailing. There are challenges that we must overcome. Maintaining the delicate quantum state, for example, is no easy task. The slightest disturbance can cause decoherence, leading to computational errors. Additionally, the high cost of building quantum computers is currently a significant barrier to widespread adoption. Despite these challenges, the potential of quantum computing is undeniable. It's like we've been given a new lens to view the world one that could help us understand the universe in ways we never thought possible. While we're still in the early days of quantum computing, the possibilities are as vast as the universe itself. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of the quantum world, who knows what future computing will look like?